Army Hammer will not face sex assault charges in the L.A. case. Damn, so he can continue to eat people. Yeah, we were just talking about him. That's crazy. We were just talking about him. We were just talking about him. We did, yeah, right before the show, because we were talking about... Uh, I am a Virgo. Uh, we were talking about I am a Virgo, and the director of that movie did uh, Sorry to Bother You, mm -hmm. which had this man-eater right here, this cat mm -hmm. <laughs> Army Hammer. Yeah, okay, you know, i got to ask you something. We're not going like, to divert the show too much uh, to this topic right here. Yeah. But uh, I haven't read any, any of this uh, story that just came out. If you didn't know, Army Hammer was... <laughs> so they said... Uh, his career was kind of uh, derailed because they said that he was being kind of weird around women. He kind of derailed it himself. Yeah, yeah, sexually weird around women, and mm -hmm. they and 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 when I say you know sexually weird, like he wanted, he got off on saying he wanted to eat these women. Yeah, <laughs> not in the sexual sense. No, he wanted to consume their flesh. Yeah, yeah, like so, a crazy guy. Like a, like a crazy person <laughs> would say. And the last time you heard about this guy, he was working at a resort. Yeah, he was like a concierge yeah, resort. It, that guy has a crazy story. Did, did you see any of the documentary on his whole family lineage? The House uh, of Hammer? The House of Hammer, yeah. And so he's a descendant of the bacon powder, right? Yeah. Yeah, Herman <laughs> Hammer. I mean, I'm they, not bacon powder. No, no, no. Yet I had to think, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Spot on, yeah. So... And they have that whole thing. At first, it was like, oh, let's see what happens with Army Hammer. His family's crazy. And then you watch, and it's like... Dude, this guy comes from like a lineage of just very fucked up people. Yeah, and yeah. and he was he was shooting himself in the foot, not giving a fuck. Like he was doing this thing where he had a burner account, and that's where he posted a lot of the stuff of him doing the weird sex things. Yeah, he was telling women like, "I want to uh, uh, eat your arm" or something. He was saying a lot of crazy shit to women that hinted, hinted at cannibalism. Yeah, along with so, you know he would get off on it too, I guess. Yeah, but he, so he, that. That kind of ruined his career, cause and, and he wouldn't stop. Like I said, I saw videos of him, yeah, uh, tying up women in hotel rooms and stuff. I didn't see that. Yeah, he had like there was one thing that he did on that burner account where it was in the documentary. This woman is tied up, and he's like he's vaping. He's like, hey, this is my new apartment or whatever. And it's just she's there, and he doesn't even acknowledge <laughs> okay, it. Okay, I didn't see that. Jesus. Yeah. I saw a video where he actually snorted. I don't and I don't think it was cocaine. It might have been baking powder. I don't know, but he was his own product. <laughs> that home shit. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it in the family. <laughs> but he he was snorting and doing some kind of drugs on camera. Yeah. And then he had another video where his his kid was sucking his feet. Oh my god. And and then it was the stuff that came out with the women. I'm sure we'll find some homeless people that disappeared that he consumed ate, consumed and buried the bones in the background or something. But so the last time we saw this guy, he was he was working at a resort, sort of as a concierge. So you would get like this 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 uh, sheet of paper where you would look, and it would be this guy on there, and it would say, <laughs> "Hi, I'm Army Hammer. I will be your concierge this weekend at the resort." It's so weird. It's weird. That, so that would ruin my vacation. Yo, well, yeah, if you live through it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, wow, there's a cannibal I here. I got fucking Hannibal Lecter as my... <laughs> exactly. Handsome Lecter as my, <laughs> as my goddamn concierge. Uh, the free buffet is for him. <laughs> <laughs> you are the buffet. <laughs> so, do you think... Uh, this is going to sound... This is going to be stupid. Probably a dumb question. Do you, th do you think he could bounce back? <laughs> Man, I don't know anymore. With, with the way that things work... Dude, I mean, uh, what's his name? Uh, Ezra Ezra Miller? Like, yeah. he has done some crazy shit where, like, maybe we don't have the full context, but the more I hear, it's like, eh, that's, that's no good. <clears throat> but, yeah. But who knows, man, that the Arm & Hammer family is powerful. Like, I'm not even kidding. No, that's what I'm... See, when you say that's what I'm thinking, can they... Can somebody, like pay to get this by, this guy back in? You know, like... And, I, and the reason why he's different from... Uh, from uh, from uh, uh, what's his name? Ezra uh, Miller. The Flash. Ezra, Ezra Miller. Excuse me, I just burped. Uh, it's because they have an investment in him. Mm -hmm. yeah, ain't nobody invested in Army Hammer no, right Army now. Army Hammer's not in a half a billion dollar movie. Yeah, last movie he was in, he was hanging out with mutant horses and shit. So, <laughs> you know, but he has a very powerful family. Yeah. And I'm sure if there's either two things this family wants to do, they want to either put his ass away somewhere and have him keep quiet. For a little bit. For a little bit, or if he keeps acting a fool forever. I ain't saying they're going to kill him. I might. I don't know. I mean, the way that Hollywood works, you know, like, 
Alec Baldwin, you know, like he, he, I, I'm not a fan of what happened with him. Like that shit really pisses me off. But and Alec he's Baldwin's make, not crazy like Army Hammer. He, it's he, true. He don't want to eat people, no. at least not out in the open. But there was also what's his name, uh, Kevin <coughs> Spacey. You know, he's gonna make a comeback eventually. Do like, you think so? I, I thought I heard that he was doing like some independent he's, movies. He's doing the shitty independent movies. <laughs> they look like asylum shit. <laughs> Kind of close to it. Kind of awesome. It kind of looks like just a step above from a Kirk Cameron religious film. Oh, no. Look like, seriously, or some Lifetime TV movie. But, you know, I wonder, like, his family, if if it would behoove them to and benefit them to either keep him quiet or bring him back out and to the forefront, you know, as a reformed man, and they might have the power to do so. I mean, if if the case is going this way, if he's proven innocent, that's very good PR for them. And slowly but surely, he'll work his way in there. We'll know if he makes it back when he shows up in a Marvel movie. So they say he might be uh, in a Marvel movie. <laughs> uh, he was almost going to be Batman at some point. I, I can totally see it. Um, yeah, th- has this gone to trial yet or anything? Or is- I mean, I guess it has been if it's uh, if they say he won't if, if he won't face charges here. Yeah, I mean, go. I imagine that there was a lot of money thrown around. Of course, of course. I mean, let's <clears throat> let's, let's man, listen. Let's go ahead and and call this for what it is. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I'm not. I, I I don't know this family. I don't know the case. I don't know the details of it. I just heard about this today. But this family has a shitload of money and power and power and guarantee you, guarantee you, at like. If this had been not just a, nor, a, a an ordinary person, but an actor mm-hmm. of less status and from a less influential family, they'd be gone. Sexual assault today, they'd be gone. And and the thing is, is that their power has been building up, like not for years, but for decades. Yeah. Are you familiar with the show? Uh, this is kind of a deep cut, but you know, uh, F is for Family. Yeah. You know the neighbor who's like just like a hippie who's okay, always. Okay, I don't know that. Uh, okay, they, they he throws parties and like he's always doing <coughs> blow and stuff, and it sounds like in the Army Hammer documentary, like that's what his house was when he grew oh, up. Oh shit! Just like piles of cocaine, naked women everywhere. Yeah. I mean, it sounds awesome, but like it's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> what maybe? <laughs> uh, what's your boy's name? Uh, maybe he'll play Kane the Conqueror next. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that they'll re- replace him with uh, what's his name? Uh, that the short guy. What's his name? Uh, Which one? Oh, the loud one. Which, Which one? <laughs> Joe Pesci? No, not that. Would be amazing. see. I told you the lot of them. No, what's his name? The guy who did the movie with the Rock. A bunch of those. Danny movies. DeVito? No, no. That's a, oh, that's he, that was sort of Schwarzenegger. No, more recently. Oh, oh Kevin Hart. Yeah, I would. So love... you should have set the black one. <laughs> I'm trying to be smarter than that. <laughs> you, that bet, that's not being insensitive. That's being very descript. <laughs> okay. Very. Yeah. Well, yeah, Kevin Hart. I'd just like to think that in that shot, you know, where they're they're. <laughs> you had me naming all these white dudes, <laughs> man. If you had simply said the short black one, I'm, I immediately would have thought Kevin Hart. I was trying to be more clever than that. I'm sorry. You got a little black. You said the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk <laughs> like that. If you had done this, man, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> now yeah. I just would have thought Chris Tucker did. Yeah. But yes. him too. I'd be okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> but I think Kevin Hart, that would be a nice twist. Like, people wouldn't be expecting that. <laughs> would it be who's King the Conqueror? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because they show that at the end. Spoilers for Quantum Mania, but at the end, that big auditorium with all the different Kangs. Yeah. I like to think that Kevin Hart's right behind the camera. You have a big ass portal like this, and then a dude this tall walks in. Everybody, everybody's <laughs> yeah. looking up, waiting for some big dude to come out. <laughs> Where is he? Down here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 